Well, did you find anything? Yeah. What? A centipede. Oh. Well, maybe we can hitch a ride. What? From a centipede? Hank, do you know anything about cars? No, I don't. So what were you doing there, hiding? Well, I don't know. They're, 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 there's something wrong with the, the gearbox or something. Well, is there anything that we can do about it? Yeah. Yeah, we could phone. No, no, no. There's no signal. We're in the middle of nowhere. What is the... What is the point of having a cell phone if you can't use it in the middle of nowhere? What are we going to do? Wait. It's getting dark. Do you want to sleep here all night? Maybe. There's not much traffic here. Yeah, well, actually, Kate, there's no traffic here. Charming. Well, what are we going to do? It's getting cold. Well, uh, we could always light a fire. Oh. Now you're going to rub two sticks together. Mr. Hank, I'm a bushman, Malefe. Well, yeah, actually I am. So why don't you go out into the bush, grab some thorn bushes, come back here, and then we'll make a fire, all right? I should have brought my sleeping bag. Why? Hmm? But I can always keep you warm. I could be your sleeping bag. Which is why I'm going to collect some thorn bushes. Good. Uh, listen, listen. Yeah, listen, uh, get your camera, okay, and put it in that plastic bag, quick. Okay. All this fuss. Come on. Stupid. Look, we're on our way to the mining company, all right? Okay, now, if they see your cameras, they're going to know we're from the press, and we don't want to blow it. Yeah, um, I think it's a bit serious. We need a tow or something. Uh, this is gearbox. This is the problem. Thanks. See? I could have told him that. I could have told him that. You, you can't stay here all night. You get into the bucky, and you can phone from my house if you need help. Okay, thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, the lady can sit in the cabin. There's quite enough space. Please. Move up. No fuss, really. I, I like it out here. I love the fresh air. It's fine. Thanks. Okay, baby. Some people have got funny way of mixing things.
phone me at 6 this morning. They are marooned on a cattle farm. They broke down your mound. That car's always giving trouble. It's getting old. Mm, depends how you drive it. I'm sure Hank treats a car like he treats everything else, including women, with no consideration. I think Hank is a very conscientious journalist, despite the fact that he's a foreigner. Oh, you know, here we go again. Hank is just as much South African as any one of us, even more so. Do me a favor. Gentlemen, I'm not having my staff gossiping and bickering about our colleagues. Hank and Kate are in the Kalahari, looking at the sand community, who appear to have been forcefully removed from their land by Afro-exploration and their United States partners. The diamond deposits in the central Kalahari could be worth millions, but the original people of the area are unlikely to get anything out of it, except being evicted. That's our big lead. And Casey, I want you to cover the story here in Johannesburg. Um, see if you can get anything out of the Botswana government and the Diamond Corporation, which are based in Johannesburg. There's also uh, Mabu, uh, which is a uh, game reserve to the south of the diamond deposits where they also discovered the oil reserves. Okay, we'll get into details later. Next. There's an exhibition in town of the sand people's life and culture. Okay, good, Diane. Then get us the details and give us some background. All right. Let's get on with it. Ooh, Diane, I see you in the background now. Oh, shut up. That's my fault. Hello? Hello? Hank, is that you? Yeah, yeah, Coco, um, yeah, listen, we need another car. Yeah, something more reliable and less antique, okay? Oh, and also the garage needs some spares. A some... Sleeping bag, to bring sleeping bag. Yeah. Well, no, 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 the sand community have been moved and uh, no one seems to know where. I think they've been evicted, actually. But I tell you what, we've got a rough idea of their whereabouts. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, that could be fantastic. It'd be very, very handy. Great. Okay, Coco. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Fantastic. Right, they're sending George with a spare car and some spares, and also there might be a map, okay? And oh. The sleeping bags. I forgot the sleeping bags. I forgot the sleeping Anyway, we can cuddle up. What? What? Cuddle up. What? It's too hot. Yeah, I can keep you warm. George? Yeah? Can you come here for a minute, please? Hmm? I hear you want me to play Rescue 911. Come on. It'll be fun for you to get out into the desert. The Sahara Desert as Jamal. You know, my great-great-great-grandmother might have been from Malaysia. But do I look to you like Lawrence of Arabia? No, this is where I put my foot down. I can't even drive a camel. Tell them to hire a car. They can't hire a car, George. They're out in the bush. Come on, the Kalahari Desert is only six hours' drive from here. Oh, the Kalahari. Business opportunity. Okay, I'm A for away. Sometimes they notice if a shower sand, but we 
is being free to have a look around. Hello, you must be that hand. You spoke in the phone, remember? Yes. Hi. Hi. Could you give me a map? Certainly. Thanks. That would be wonderful. Sorry. Okay. It's 14 kilometers north of that, I would say, off the main road. Around about there, okay? Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Can I have a hundred rand of your latest vintage, please? Thank you. But anyway, hold on, hold on. Can I interest you in some aftershave? It's, um, you know, if you put this on in the morning, the women will go crazy. You know, and, and, and they come in a pack of six, special consignment, I'll give it to you for 80 rand. I never I share. Oh well. Come to see Tom Harrison, I've got an appointment. Uh, mm. <coughs> I've come to see Tom Harrison. Oh, do you have an appointment? I do. City Post. Oh, yes. Please follow me. Come in, Mr. Dubé. Take a seat. Tea? Coffee? No, thank you. Now, um... City Post? Yeah. I see. What can we do for you? We believe that your company together with the Botswana government, is engaged in di developing diamond mining in the Kalahari Game Reserve. And we're also investigating the forced removal 
of the last of the Kalahari Bushmen, the sand people who come from that area. The very same area where it appears that diamond mining is still in progress. Also, I happen to have this information in front of me that says... Hang on. Hold it right there. As far as our company is concerned, there are no and were no Bushmen, and for that matter, any other community or group of people in the area where we are mining, or even plan to mine. And we certainly aren't aware of any person or persons having been moved or asked to move from their land. But, sir, the lawyers have confirmed this. We were told by the legal firm representing the people who live in that community. Now, wait. I said we have no knowledge of your Bushman community. Who is this law firm you're talking about? With such a, a bunch of liberals of wanting to make an extra buck. We have this all the time. But I want to warn you, Mr. Dubé. If you write anything libelous, we will sue you. Personally. Now, I'm a busy man. Will you excuse me? You are wasting your time. There are no bushmen in this area. And there were no evictions either. So, can I quote you on that? No. You have to speak to my superior in Khabarone. No, no, no. You can't take my picture. Do you have a visa to be in Botswana? Did you get permission to take pictures and ask questions? Yeah, we spoke to your head office in Gaborone, and they're aware of our visit. I'm going to head office. I also have to warn you. The mining areas are off limits. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Sergeant. Thank you very much. I know what's wrong with these people. Oh. What fascists? Now, I didn't know that we had contacted the office in Gaborone. Yeah, nor did I. <laughs> anyway, I'm certain that sergeant works for the mining companies, and they're determined to get rid of the rest of the sand community in this area. So they don't really want us sniffing around, do they? Eh? No. Guys, you need a lift. Yeah, well, what we'll kept you, eh? Yeah, it's about time, George. Oh, thank you. Oh. No, I've got a note for you from Dai. Oh, oh, come on, George. Thank you very much. Hey, this is great. It's fantastic. This tells us where the sand community might be. Brilliant. Superb. Well done, George. Hmm. Excellent. George, you're supposed to take the old car back to the office, not drive us around. Oh, the car can wait. It will take about two to three days to fix it. Besides which, I could be of good use to you, boss. You'd be of use to us, George, if you would slow down. You're going 140 in an 80 zone. OK, ma'am. Listen, George, make sure you don't mess around with those sand people and do your old tricks, OK? Oh, no, I'd never do that. But I've got a few items of haberdashery. What are you talking about? OK, in plain English, ma'am, I've got a couple of scarves, skirts, beautiful patterns. I could get you a skirt, you know. Thank you very much, George, but I don't think we share the same taste. Yeah, anyway, I think Kate prefers wearing trousers anyway. Oh, I could get you a pair of trousers. Will you both stop it? Please?
been uh, evicted. Um, yeah, listen, don't worry, we're not from uh, the mining company or from the government, we're from a newspaper in Johannesburg. So I said to you, I mean, I'm meeting the car in that coffee. Ah, I'm not coming to that coffee. I go to the coffee. Now, we've heard about the eviction. We've come down to find out a bit more about it. Can you tell us, were you given any warning about the eviction? they were warned, but, but they know it's not about the animals, it's about the diamonds. Okay. And uh, were you offered any compensation at all? Um, You are trespassing. I've warned you, haven't I? Where are the others? Leave me alone and give me back my camera. Where are the others? Hey, hey. Hey, what's going on here? He's taken my camera. Give that camera back immediately. Immediately. Oh, oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You whoa. come with whoa. us. Who are you to tell me to come with you, eh? Who are you? Come with us now. Otherwise, I will arrest you for trespassing. Come along, all of you. Come.
chicken salad, one coke, one diet coke. Okay, sir. I'll bring it into your office right away. Why do phone calls yes. get preference over people in queues? Yes, sir. I've been waiting for over three and a half minutes. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye. Hello, Kadu? Yes, could I have a fruit salad, no cream, and a bottle of mineral water, please? Is that you, Diane? Yes, it's me at my table. Why are you phoning me? You know very well I don't serve tables. Then bring it to my chair. <sighs> you are so aggressive. Why don't you just leave poor Ruth alone? She's got enough on her plate. I want something on my plate. I want some service. It's about time we speak up. And why are you in such a bad mood? I'm not in a bad mood. I'm looking for my purse. Oh, wow. Um, Say, this would make a lovely omelette. Did you get that at the San Arfe? No, I laid it myself. I will put my presents up and get myself a waitress. Take it, okay? Sit down. Sit down. Trespassing on mining property is a serious offense. I'm not prepared to discuss this with you. OK, I insist on using your phone and phoning my office. I could hand you over to the Botswana police, where you would be detained until your trial. Have you body searched them? No, sir. Uh, look, you're going too far now, OK? I want to use your phone and phone my office. No pictures. I said no pictures. You people should know that I have the right to have your body searched and have you detained for 24 hours. Are you talking rubbish? Absolute rubbish. Don't be cheeky. Shut up. OK, Johnny. OK. Now the rule is that anyone found trespassing on Diamond International Mining Properties will have to be body searched. I know, I refuse. You have absolutely no right. Are you going to let me use your phone or not? Uh, listen, you must just watch out, eh, sir. When you body search me, I'm very ticklish. You will be quiet. Nobody asked you to talk. We will have to x-ray you as well. Your behavior is very suspicious. You might have swallowed a diamond. <laughs> I let the, uh, yeah. most of the other people do the work. Right, 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 right. So they're offloaded that way. Yeah. Any news of Hank? No, they seem to have disappeared. Hmm. I'm sure they're in the bush somewhere. Probably living it up. Cell phones don't work in the bush, Joe. Ideal situation for Hank. 
Wait here. Kate on the line. She seems very agitated. I think they're in trouble. Kate is always agitated. Hello, Kate. Joe. Joe, we've been arrested by the mining company. They've x-rayed us and they're holding us at the mining compound. What? Oh, no. But what the hell? What have you all been doing down there? Where are George and Hank? They've been locked up. I don't know where Hank and George are. No, you must phone the mining authorities. Will you do that? Give me back. They've been locked up. Kate? You shouldn't have done that. Leave me alone. You are clear. Where are my colleagues? Hello, Kate. Kate? Lost her. She's clean. Sir. You've given us a lot of problems. Rules are rules. Therefore, I have to hand you over to the Botswana authorities. The female used the phone. Security, Van der Merwe, yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, Mr. Harrison. You, leave the room. One of our directors, Mr. Harrison, vouched for you. He spoke to your office. Is there anything I can offer you? Tea, coffee, cool drink, something stronger? Marion, come to my office. Now what? We are at your disposal. Anything we can do for you? Yes, sir. Will you look after these people? Refreshments? Have you eaten? You must have something to eat. Ostrich steak? Anything. Ostrich steak. I thought this was a game zone. Thanks very much, okay, but we'd rather be taken back to the place that we were forcefully removed from. I'd like some tea, actually. Tea's a good idea, but if you have some game built on, you see, I can sell it in Johannesburg at a profit. George, now, we George, could go into George, shut up. Of course, be our guest. Please accept our hospitality. Marion will look after you. Listen, I'm going to have a look outside, okay? Be careful. Hey, I'm always careful. Hey. What if this is poisoned? This is more for me. George, <laughs> give me one. 
Uh, do you know where the toilet is? Yeah, I'm not here. Let me go and show you. Oh, thanks. Yes. You see, I've got just the right color for you. There we go. This will brighten up your day. Look, you can have it at cost price. Come okay? on, George. I don't know. I can't wear this sort of thing here. Oh, Come on, George. This uniform is dull. Look, it would suit you. I'm here, there. Right away, sir. Don't worry, I'll invoice you.
Listen, what are you talking about, okay? Just get out of here. Leave these people alone. Otherwise, I'm going to report you to the authorities, all right? So just get out of here now. You'll hear from us. If you publish any of those pictures, we'll sue you. Oh, yeah, right. Sue. You're the one who's going to be sued, okay? So buzz off. Just buzz off. Story. Good reporting. Accident pictures. Pardon? Accident pictures. Did you hear that? Okay. Mm -hmm. We should have had pictures of Kate's X ray on the front page. Oh, you would have loved that, George. It's not right for our staff to pick up documents from an office, regardless of how important the story is. Yeah, all right, Joe. I didn't steal anything, okay? I just lifted them and then photocopied them, all right? Never mind the legalities, Joe. This letter proves that the mining company acted illegally in moving the sand community. Exactly. That letter, which is signed by Harris and one of the directors, 
clearly states that the Botswana government was introducing a law protecting the Sai community, protecting their mineral and land rights. And that letter says that they tried to move the Sai community quickly and quietly before the law was introduced. Incidentally, the Botswana sergeant has been suspended by the authorities. Good. Oh, yeah. This whole business is outrageous. I mean, I didn't think this sort of thing still happened. It does. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we must watch it. Once again, well done, Hank. Kate, anything else? Yes. Anyone interested in some ostrich bolton, please see me at my desk after the meeting. Oh, George, please. Ostrich bolton. Yeah, I need to see Thank you.